Good morning. Today we're doing lesson 12, 8 in our math book. You can see it starts at page 735. I'm going to let you do this page on your own. And you, if you have any questions, just follow along and maybe start on the back with me. So what we're doing is we're going to be measuring two different paths. You can see down here we have a path A and a path B. Up here he's got a blue path and a red path. And we're going to be seeing which one is longer. When you are measuring the paths, first of all, you need to see what do they want you to measure. And it looks like we're measuring in centimeters. So it's really important that we have those units and we know what we're using. When I measure a path, and I'm going to show you down here on path A. When I measure a path, I'm going to measure both parts. And when I measure each part, I'm going to write down the number on each part. So I'm using centimeters on my ruler, and it's really important that you start at the zero line. So here is my zero line, and it's looking like I'm measuring from the from here to the point, and it looks like it's about three. So I'm going to write three cm. I am using pen, so you can see it. Please work in pencil if at all possible. Now I'm going to go again to that corner part, Boop. and I'm going to measure, oh my goodness, it looks like it is right in the middle. We're not going to write six and a half. Let's see, let's say, do you think it's closer to six or do you think it's closer to seven? Let's say it is a little closer to seven. So we'll say it's seven centimeters. Now, to find the length of the whole path, I am going to need to add those two together. So that would be three centimeters plus seven centimeters. You don't need to write this. You do need to add these two numbers, boop, and then you need to add them for your measurement. What I forgot to do is estimate, so hopefully you can make a guess. So for path B, maybe based on path A, what do you think path A, path B is going to be? To me, it looks shorter, so it says that if, if I know that path A is 10 centimeters, hmm, maybe about 2 centimeters shorter is my estimate, so I think it's about 8 centimeters. Let's go ahead and measure and see. Remember, I'm starting at the zero line and I'm going to the corner. So this one says four from the zero line to the corner. And now I'm gonna go from the corner to the zero line again. Ooh, this one's much better, two. And now I'm gonna add them together. This time I'm just gonna do it in my head. I know you can do four plus two in your head. So four plus two is six centimeters. So my estimate wasn't exact, but that's okay. And I don't need to erase and change it. It's okay if my estimations are different. So which path is longer? It's pretty obvious that path A is longer. I could even see that with my eyes, but now that I've measured, I know that it is longer. When it says how much longer, you are gonna need to compare. When we compare, we're not putting things together. We are subtracting. So I'm gonna do 10 centimeters minus six centimeters. And that's gonna get me how much longer the paths were. If I could straighten these paths, and I could line them up on top of each other and then I could measure, then that would be really easy. But since I can't do that, I'm gonna just subtract and that's gonna get me the same answer. So 10 minus six is four. So path B, oops, actually path A is four centimeters longer than path B.